We are back for another scavenger hunt. I love filming these videos so much and I haven't done one since I've rejigged my shelves. So I used to have my gorgeous rainbow shelves. I no longer have those. I now have everything organized by genre and it's not actually organized into red and unread books anymore. So I feel like this is gonna be ever so slightly more interesting because it's not gonna be quite as clear which ones are red versus unread. However, I'm gonna be doing a scavenger hunt with you guys today. We're doing a scavenger hunt of the shelves and then whichever book we end up with on the last prompt is a book I will then read with you in a vlog at the end of this video. I hope that that makes sense. I have done quite a few of these before and I love doing them, as I said. We're gonna be following the exact same format that we have done before. So I'm gonna get into it. I have a list here. I always say for me personally, the first person that I saw do this was Riley Marie. I will link her down below. I love her videos so, so much. And I'm using the exact same prompts that she used in her video. So I'm just gonna get right into it. We're gonna choose a book. I'm gonna go through, I think there's like 10 prompts and then whichever book we get at the end, we're gonna read together. So the first prompt is pick a book that you gave five stars and then find another book that you would recommend for people who liked that book. I already have something in mind, babe. I already do. Give me a minute. We have The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I love this so much. It's a five-star read, obviously. One of my favourite books of all time. And I read it like a few months ago, I think now. Maybe was it towards the end of last year? Either way, I absolutely adored it. And I read it around about the same time that I read The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. And I also adored this book. So I feel like these give me similar vibes. This one is very much like almost magical realism vibes in that she is in an apartment that is kind of like set seven years in the past. So whenever she enters this apartment, it's seven years in the past and she ends up forming a romance with a guy who happens to be seven years in the past. Do you get my gist? I hope that you do, but I love this book so much. This one doesn't have those same magical realism vibes. This is like an almost fake dating bodyguard romance, which sounds very different, but the vibes that it gives me, the warm fuzzy feelings that these books give me are very much the same. Neither of these have any spice in them. There's like slight fade to black in this one, but there's none in this one. And just the dynamic, I just, I don't know. For some reason, these books, whenever I think of this book, I also think of this book. I think that you will enjoy this one if you enjoyed this one, although the plots are ever so slightly different. The next prompt is count the number of letters in the title and then pick a random spot on your shelf and count to that number book. So we have, we have 12 letters in the title of this book. So I'm gonna pick a random spot on my shelf and we're gonna count 12 books deep from that point. I think I'm just gonna start over here and try not to get ones that have like the stacked up just in case I end up getting one of the bombs. So I'm gonna start here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. I feel like I always get books like this for this prompt. We have Look at Boys on the cover and find a book with similar elements. I always get books that have basically nothing on the cover. So on this one, we just have like green with like some pearls and some butterflies, I think. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of a brainstorm because I don't think I have anything that's similar to that, but let me see what I can do. So that ended up taking me a hot minute and I feel like the one that I found isn't like very close at all, but it's kind of the best I could do. I've got Play With Me by Becca Mac. These have similar vibes in that they're kind of like almost watercolory themed, like very pale, like a wash of color. And they're both that green vibe. Um, other than that, I think that the font is ever so slightly similar with the twisted and then with the play with me. I don't know about but this is the best I could do. So I've got play with me by Becca Mac. The next prompt is reverse the page number of the book and find another book with a similar page count. So I'm gonna have to go look at the page count of this book, which is the sentence that I just saw. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna have to glaze over that. We have 528. So 825. Why do I always get books that have such a high number? So I need to find a book with 825 pages or there or thereabouts, right? I'm gonna go look at like my chunky Sarah J Mass books or maybe my Prior of the Orange Tree and we will see what I can get that's close to 825. I think I'm gonna go with A Day of Fall and Night purely because some of the books that I found that are close to 825, I feel like I've included in previous scavenger hunts. So I wanted to do something slightly different. This has 846, so it's close enough, I think. I've not actually read this book. I am terrified to read it. I did recently read Prior of the Orange Tree, which has been on my TBR for like four years. And this is the prequel and it's obviously huge. So I'm scared, but this is the next book that we've gotten to in this scavenger hunt. I'm going to see what the next prompt is. The next one is kind of difficult because I've got a book that I haven't read before, but it says list some of the tropes in the book and find another book that shares one or more of these tropes. I'm going to have to go off of what the tropes are in the first book because that's kind of all I know. We have dragons. We have like training to do with dragons. We have kind of some found family aspects. We have war, obviously, that sort of vibe. We have like a sisterhood situation, like priestesses and stuff. I feel like I'm just gonna go with the dragon thing. And I have one book that I haven't read yet that has dragons in it. So I think that's the one I'm gonna choose. And that is Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. Now I know my heart of hearts, these books aren't similar. I know it, babe. But it's probably the only book that I haven't used before for this whole dragon thing. I feel like I always end up with books that are centered around dragons when I get to this prompt. And I've mentioned Fourth Wing before. I'm not gonna do Fourth Wing again and 
that's basically the only other book that I have that has dragons. Um, so I'm going with this one. I don't know what this is about whatsoever, but I know that it has dragons and Prior of the Orange Tree slash A Day of Fall Night has dragons in it. So that's my very loose thread between these two books. The next prompt is find a book that has a similar colour combination as your current book. This book is absolutely gorgeous. One of my friends actually sent it to me and I love it. It's the actual like indie published edition and it's stunning. So I just need to find a book that has this green colour combination as well, which I feel like should be relatively easy. It was easier when I had my colour coordinated bookshelf, but I will do what I can. I think I'm gonna go with my original copy of Court of Wings and Ruin because it does have similar vibes, I think. I don't know how to explain what I mean by that, but we have like the woman with the dagger and then we have the similar colour and we have like central writing and like the swirls and everything. So this is what I'm going with. This is the next book that we've got in this scavenger hunt. This next prompt is one I always struggle with as well. We have read the first sentence, pick any word in that sentence and find a book with that word in the title or on the cover. Now, I don't know what the first sentence of this book is. I don't, if it's spoilers, I might have to skim over it, but we shall see. I can't remember what it actually was. We have, the buzzing flies and screaming survivors had long since replaced the beating war drums. Right, and I've got to find a word in that sentence and then a book with that word on the title or in the cover. Oh my God, this is gonna take me forever. <laughs> I have managed to match one of my favourite books of all time with one of my least favourite books of all time. I've gone with war because of the whole beating war drums part of this sentence. I have war. Um, I hate this book with every fibre of my being. Um, it's gorgeous. I love the covers of this series, but my god do I hate this book. So. so the next prompt is to go to the acknowledgements and find a book written by an author with the same or similar name as one of the names listed. This is where I always hope and pray that they have quite a long list of people that they list in the acknowledgements because if not, we might be a bit stuck. So we have Amanda. And that's it. We have Amanda. She's thanked one person <laughs> in the back of this book. Of course, of course. Every other time I've done this, I've had like a long list. And now I've got nothing. Has she thanked anyone at the start? Robert. So we've got Robert or we've got Amanda. I don't think I've got either of those, babe. We might have to find same or similar. We might have to find a similar one because one word, one person. Right, I guess I'm gonna have to go look for an Amanda or similar or Robert maybe. I am stretching this literally so far, but I couldn't find anyone with Amanda or similar. And then I couldn't find anyone called Robert, but I found Lauren Roberts. <laughs> I feel like I've done quite well considering she had literally two names, literally two names in this whole book. And Roberts is close enough. I feel like that's what I'm going to go with. It's just, it's going to have to be babe. I've got no other option. The next prompt is to then look at the cover of this book and find another book with a similar looking cover. We have a sword. We have these like purple flowers. We have green. We have black. We have this like silver writing. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find another fantasy book that looks similar because I feel like we have a lot with the same vibe. So I'll get back to you on that. One. I'm gonna go with These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. We have the whole sword surrounded by some sort of foliage of some description. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna go with. I read this book years and years ago. I get a lot of comments about this book specifically because I feel like it's made a resurgence, but I read it when it first came out a few years ago. I didn't like it, babe. I didn't. But I have had a lot of questions to ask me if I read it and the answer is yes. I just didn't like it. We are now onto the very last prompt and we have add your birth month and day together and turn to that page and find a book with that word in the title. This is notoriously the most difficult one that I ever get to because I find it so hard to find books that have the same word or whatever as, as the page. So my birth month is March. My birth date is the 6th. So we add those two together and we get nine. So I'm going to go to page nine and look at the first one. We have dance. The first word is dance. I don't think I've got anything with dance, babe. We might have to, <laughs> we might have to go beyond that. Before I've had to do the first word and then slowly work my way down until I finally find a book with the same one. But equally, because it has to be a book that I've also not read, it makes it a lot more difficult. The only book that's coming to mind is Dance of Thieves, but I don't actually own that. I do want to read it, but I don't actually own it. So it wouldn't be much of a bookshelf scavenger hunt because I don't own it yet, but we might have to revert to that if I can't find anything. So I'm gonna have a look for something with dance or similar. and I'll get back to you. When I tell you I've been looking for the last like 20 minutes, I've been scouring my Goodreads, scouring my shelves, everything. I don't have anything to do with dance. The only one I said before that I could think of was Dance of Thieves, but I don't own that. And I kind of want it to be a book that I own because I want it to be a bookshelf scavenger hunt. Otherwise it's not really a scavenger hunt if it's not a book that I own. So I had to go to the next sentence and I basically worked my way through every single word until I finally found one that actually applied to a book that I own that I haven't read. So I went to the next sentence and it says, sighing, Juliet dug out Eliza to keep her hands occupied, releasing the flame. And that was the only word that I found that actually was tied to a book that I own. And I'm really excited about it because it's a book that I've been wanting to read for ages, but I did have to bend the rules ever so slightly. So I hope that you will bear with me with this one. But I have, I think you'll be able to guess what it's gonna be because I've already mentioned it in this video 
I have Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. I feel like I've been finding, I've been attempting to find a way to include this book in a video and it's literally perfect. This is perfect. I was gonna do another like reading fantasy vlog, but maybe I will have to choose some other books for that. But I am so excited for this. I don't know what it's about, babe. I don't, I know that it's dragons. I know that it's fantasy. I know that it's romance. And those are three things that I'm very much here for. So I'm gonna be reading this book with you guys. Thank you again to Regan, one of my gorgeous friends who actually sent this to me because otherwise I would not have my hands on it because I have been looking for it for so long, but it's being republished and I think therefore it's not being republished until like the end of the year so she managed to get her hands on an indie copy of this for me and I'm forever grateful so I'm gonna be reading this with you guys I've heard amazing things I can't wait everyone seems to love it and when I mentioned it in previous videos everyone was basically saying oh my god it's so underrated it's amazing it's the best thing ever so I'm very excited to read this book so let's skip over to future Ellen I guess that will have some thoughts and feelings to share on this book it has been a hot minute since I last spoke to you guys I feel like I haven't spoken to the camera in like weeks probably at this point and it's true because I haven't I purposely pre-filmed a load of videos recently so that I didn't have to film during this week because my boyfriend is back I don't know if I ever said but we are long distance we've been long distance for like four years so whenever I get to see him I like to spend all my time with him so it's been like a few weeks I've also been in a book slump because what's new I don't tend to get book slumps very often but I think I said it in my reading wrapped up books video I started falling into one and that has very much continued. I read a few books after that because I did the whole mood reading for a week thing and that did help for that one week. But then my boyfriend arrived home and then I haven't read anything since other than trying to read this book. So <laughs> it's been rocky. It's been real rocky. I have very similar feelings about this book as I did to Two Twisted Crowns. If you've read, if you've read, if you've watched my reading wrapped up books video in which I spoke about Two Twisted Crowns, you'll probably know what I mean by that. Essentially this book, I'm really liking it but because I'm in the slump, I'm also hating my life while reading it. Does that make sense? I don't want to read it. But also when I'm reading it, I'm like, this is good. But also because it's fantasy, it's taking me a hot minute to properly get into it because I am confused and I don't have the brain power at the moment to actually dedicate to reading this book. I hope that that makes sense, <laughs> but I am really liking it. It's just taking me a really long time to read because I'm just not in the mood. I'm not. And the first 100 pages, oh my God, took me so long to get through. So, so, so long. I'm now halfway through, 289 pages through, but it's just, it's one of those just moving really, really slowly. In this one, we follow our main character who is a queen. She's like ran away from her, I guess, original kingdom that she was from. And she's living in her own little kingdom that she like made, right? And she's got friends and family there. One day she comes across this commander of I think the thing is I don't really understand the kingdoms um either way she comes across the commander of like another kingdom and basically they end up making a bit of like a truce together in order to take down the king her father from her original kingdom because she is like rightful queen or something if she gets rid of him and she has some dragons that are like hers and I think that's the reason why the king doesn't like her why her dad doesn't like her is because she has these dragons and she's more powerful than him so he was threatened by her and basically I think kept her in the dungeons for ages she managed to escape whatever but he wants her dead um but she's gonna strike up this truce with this commander to basically go get her dragons back go get her power back all of that jazz so that's what we're following we are halfway through and not much of that has happened so far which I'm kind of grateful for because I did need a minute to get into this there's obviously a romance as well between the commander and our main character which I am enjoying I think it's quite like quick like it's quite how do I explain this it's not insta love by any means but it was very like off the bat we knew that there was going to be romance between these guys because it was very obvious which is kind of fun but also kind of like oh okay is that what we're doing fine I think this book is sitting at like a four star I feel like I've just said a, a load of reasons why I'm not loving it, but I am very much enjoying it. It's a four star at the minute. I don't think it's gonna be a five star read, but I am very much enjoying it. And it is the type of fantasy that I like. I feel like I spoke about this in my reading fantasy for a week. I have very specific fantasy that I really, really like, and this is falling into that category. So I'm happy. It's just taking me a long time to read. And it's currently Monday when I'm filming this and this needs to go up on Wednesday. So still got half a book to read. Either way, we'll see what happens. Most likely I'll check in with you once I've actually finished it. Overall, enjoying it, just taking me a hot minute because I'm in a bit of a slump. But what can you do? I'm gonna sign off for now because this lighting is literally disgusting, but I'm gonna carry on reading this and I will check in with you with my final thoughts once I have them to share with you. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day since I last checked in with you. Um, I'm in my car, I'm about to go to work, but I thought I would check in with you because I ended up finishing this book last night. I really liked this in the end. I think if I had to be really, really, really specific, it would be like a 3.75, but I ended up giving it a four star on Goodreads. I really liked this. I think all of my thoughts from my last check-in still stand in the, I I am most certainly in a book slump and I think that kind of impacted my reading experience with this because this is very similar to Two Twisted Crowns in that 
I really liked the book, but my experience while reading it was not great because I was in a reading slump and I didn't want to pick it up. So I kind of had to force myself through it, not because it was bad, but just because I didn't want to read. At the time that I picked this up, I didn't want to read. And so I just had to force myself through it, but I did really like it. I think the romance was really cute. I think the plot was interesting. I do think that not a hell of a lot happens, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, which at the time of reading this book was kind of a good thing because I, like I said, was in a reading slump and I didn't want to read. And so I didn't want anything that was too taxing on my little brain. And this wasn't. So this, that was good at the time, but I think on the back it says this is the first book in a new high fantasy series. I don't think it's high, high fantasy. I don't, especially not this book because the first like 400 pages are very much set up, which makes sense again, if this is a series and this is the first book in a series and we're going to get more, it makes sense, right? But Either way, I really liked this book. I think it would get a four star, a 3.75 four star, but it was really fun. And I will most likely read more books in this series if I can, if I can get my hands on them. Like I said, I think I said before, this was so difficult to get my hands on. My friend Regan had to send this to me because I physically could not get my hands on it. Um, so she ended up finding this in a bookshop and sending it over to me because otherwise I wasn't gonna be able to get it because they're republishing this. I believe this was indie published first. This is the indie published version and they're republishing it, but not until like the end of the year, like traditionally publishing it at the end of the year um which is too far away for someone like me who gets impatient so i'm really, really thankful to regan i need to message her actually and say what i think because she really liked this book as well it was fun it was cool i really liked it i think that i will definitely read the rest of the series i do think it wasn't like the best thing ever there are a few things that kind of irked me like there are some places where the romance was a little bit too quick for me it's not too quick over the span of the book but just like when they first met it was like oh look they like really into each other which like fine but there wasn't really a build-up it's meant to be like an enemy to lovers or at least a dislike to love kind of situation which it isn't because they never really actually dislike each other there was one guy in this that i did not trust from the start and i was right not to so i kind of wish that i'd said that in my last clip to be like look at me i know like i knew that this was gonna happen but yeah this was really fun if you guys have read this book let me know because i feel like it's one of those that i assumed was really 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 popular and then i looked on goodreads and it's got like barely any ratings and i don't know if that's because it's just so difficult to get your hands on or if I'm just in like the little like microcosm, is that the right word? Little microcosm, little bubble of people that have heard about this. But I feel like it was doing the rounds on BookTok. So I just assumed that everyone had heard and read this book. But if you haven't, I definitely would recommend it. It's got spice in it for sure. It's not like super duper intense, but there's definitely spice scenes in this. So that if that's not your thing, then I also obviously wouldn't recommend this. But overall, really, really enjoyed this book. Glad that I picked it up. I'm still in a book slump, but what can you do? So that's it for this video. I hope that it wasn't too short because I only ended up doing two check-ins for this book, but it feels a bit overkill to do anything more than that because it's just a one book. And I read it in the end over the span of like two days, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really like doing the bookshelf scavenger hunts. So if you do as well, then feel free to let me know and I'll do more of them because they're quite a nice reprieve between doing reading vlogs that consist of like three books. It's quite nice to do ones that have like one book and I get to dedicate all of my time to it. So if you enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you whenever I I see you.